which are depicted, uh, which are uh, represented in these books, um, mm, some like an uh, iconic uh, uh, examples which, uh, is, which are used in different stations in everyday project life and the life of the enterprise. So, um, this book is written as the follow-up of the machine that changed the world. So, <coughs> Uh, um, this is uh, book number two, and the, and the machine that sh we changed the world, which I hadn't read. Uh, it is uh, like the number one. The, the, uh, the, the, the story begins. So this is the book about the um, uh, the things how can be the how the automation of the enterprise uh, enlightened. Uh, uh, their production of goods and uh, more than more than uh, wares, uh, <laughs> more than uh, more, modern goods and uh, modern equipment. So, uh, and uh, the other idea behind this book is to enlighten the management of the transformation to a lean system. So we can. Uh, we can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, things that around us which are not um, made optimal, op optimal, so we can think over how to deal with it. So can you switch to the next slide, please? Uh, so we'll cover over, uh, we'll cover the in principle, uh, we, will, uh, uh, we will switch from uh, thinking to action, we'll cover the lean, uh, Enterprise and uh, and the last is epilogue. So let's see. Can we switch to the next slide? Uh, so the lean principles. Uh, well, um, the first is the value. Uh, everything is concentrated around the value. So, for example, um, we as an IT company, what value we provide? Uh, the value is our services actually. We provide uh, home internet, we provide uh, uh, TV, uh, Cosmo, Cosmo Te or the Deutsche Telekom TV or something like that. So we provide also landline and cell phone, uh, cell uh, and mobile uh, services for internet and uh, for connection. So it's our value. How we, how we do it? Uh, using a lot of systems, a lot of workforce, a lot of processes, and uh, uh, during this uh, all this stuff, we create some muda. The muda is waste. There are three types of muda: a waste, uh, the first which we can, uh, the first which uh, we cannot uh, uh, drop. For example, uh, we uh, some optimized traffic. Uh, uh, program or you, if you are use some algorithms to reduce the mm, transportation uh, time, uh, even though you have a lot of problems and you cannot reduce the time of transportation to zero, for example. The other thing is uh, that uh, you can. The other thing is that you can uh, use the lean thinking as an antidote to to muda. So you can figure out what you can reduce, what you can eliminate, and so on and so on. So uh, the other thing is the value stream. 
actually there are things which create values for example in uh, as uh, as in a company we have some units which are crucial for our enterprise and some units which which are used only as uh, a support uh, uh, part so some projects which don't produce some value and there are some uh, some projects which are particularly uh, uh, legacy project, but uh, they are not used by anyone, but they still exist and they are still used. And this is Muda, so uh, now the management try to cut off these projects. So, using so it is uh, the value stream, and um, this uh, the first type of project create the value, the second uh, create no value, but uh, we still. Uh, have to use them because the people work with them and the third is uh, things that should be first eliminated or cut off. Then uh, the pool process. Uh, the, uh, the pool process uh, is uh, more about production. Uh, the pool process is a system of cascading production and delivery activities. It's not very... Um, uh, <coughs> it doesn't reference a lot of, to our company but if we uh, have a lot of production and uh, if we have a plant to pro which produces some uh, some goods, some uh, uh, inventory or some products, we should uh, uh, deal with all these logis logistics, we should deal all this with the counterparts which is used to, uh, with the, uh, to um, uh, repair machinery or large machinery and so on. Uh, there was an example in the book uh, about the delivering the auto parts for the uh, uh, for the broken uh, in the uh, accident motorcycles and auto uh, and uh, cars. You see, uh, actually, this book uh, model uh, is used uh, in many DevOps teams. Yes, uh, it's it's very applicable. Uh, and how do you use it? Exactly as described. I mean, uh, when you have a, a bunch of parts uh, and uh, ah. stores, and you should mix it uh, in some priority, so you always prioritize the backlog yes. and uh, uh, let's say available resource picks up uh, something from the top of it. Uh, how you make definitely, in the, definitely in this case, if we have a product owner who constantly prioritizes all these activities, uh, it uh, mentions not only for the DevOps teams, but also uh, the, for the um, lean teams, for the safe teams, which we have plenty in our company. Uh, so on the per perfection, the complete uh, elimination of mood is impossible. Uh, so, because uh, some some mood, uh, some mood that is not really. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I want to I want to say that inevitable, but uh, it's not the right word for it, because um, mm, some because some some mood is uh, so usual that we don't have uh, an opportunity to get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, also repeat the Kaizens, so we have a lot of meetings, there we collect uh, with our colleagues and brainstorm how to do, uh, how to, to, pro uh, to do the processes better for our project, for our domain, for the, uh, for, for, our, um, for, our, for our team, for our project, for the set of the projects in the domain and so on and so on. The other levels are not... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, the, other, the other levels are not uh, um, available for us, as, uh, as for me. Uh, so, Sasha, I, I just missed uh, number three. Uh, okay, the flow. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. To achieve a focus uh, on the product and ignore traditional boundaries and rethink specific work practices. Okay, uh, in production, uh, you can. Uh, there are typical um, um, best practices uh, if you can do the, pro the way of production of the goods better in order uh, not to, uh, to make the batches 
large portions of the tasks, but to uh, make the smaller parts to ch to fastly change over uh, all this uh, all this machinery which produces uh, um, the goods and so on and so on. So um, there are best practices to achieve uh, uh, this in the production of uh, products, of, uh, the production of uh, goods and uh, some machinery, maybe. Uh, uh, so, can you switch to the next slide? Uh, so, regarding the principle three, um, uh, well, there was a question from uh, Alec, as far as I remember, yes. Uh, so it is the basic, uh, it is uh, the bicycle clamp. Uh, so this is the complex uh, uh, shim uh, schema on the left. Uh, the, the complex, yeah. Uh, and um, this uh, this was before um, the in agile transformation was implemented within this bicycle plant, and after that uh, they started to make uh, uh, this. Uh, Bicycles with the small uh, doses, uh, with small iterations. For example, uh, uh, as you see on the left type, you have the top tube stock storage. They try to make the the big um, chunks of the uh, bicycle of the uh, uh, parts, which uh, which are assembled uh, in the large ba uh, batches, and they get uh, also non-workable uh, solution there was a there is something an assembly of the bike but not the bike itself and uh, in the left uh, in the right uh, side picture you can see that uh, it, it is uh, done with the small sets of uh, bikes uh, with, with the small sets of uh, how to say uh, this uh, this is made in the small chunks, I see, in the small chunks, and after the first thing, the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight steps are finished, you can uh, already ship the first bike, and the second bike, and the third bike, and so on. But in the first thing, before you have a lot of, you can ship, for example, 100 bikes uh, in, uh, in many times uh, only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, so maybe maybe we can. Okay, okay, can you switch to the next slide, please? Okay, sorry. Um, uh, so, this uh, is Toyota example of pool. Mm, uh, uh, so, mm, uh, the example was that uh, they, they tried to establish the Toyota mm, uh, uh, Toyota plants uh, in uh, in North America uh, before they were only in Japan, but uh, the delivery times of the new part, uh, new change parts for Toyota was very very long because uh, it contains the overseas operations and fracht uh, within the frachted uh, uh, ships. And um, they um, they tried to establish the Chromecraft at first. Uh, so at first they have uh, this Toyota PDC uh, and Toyota PSC. The, P uh, the PRC stands for Parts uh, Redistribution Center, and PDC stands for Parts Distribution Center. 
So, uh, so this this is like retail, and this is like local work, warehouse. And the Sloan Toyota is uh, something like a car dealer, car dealer who is um, who is uh, asking for the party Toyota PDC, and afterwards the Toyota if they don't have it in the PDC, they have it in PRC, or if they don't have in PRC, they should order it overseas. Uh, before be, uh, before this uh, was implemented, but after they implemented the Chrome Craft and the Bumper Works, which have uh, a lot of machinery, but they used to stay uh, to, to have, for example, two or three parts of each type of bumpers, and the, this approach they have uh, very very small delivery times until uh, to the uh, Sloan Toyota. Uh, auto dealer who can make the uh, repair of this car. So they achieved the full principle here. So can you please switch? <coughs> uh, this is uh, this is several uh, cases. Yes. yes, this is several cases. There you should. Uh, there there are a lot of uh, examples. How this, uh, how different firms overcome this link thinking transformation uh, within their companies. So, can you switch to the next slide? Let us start to the simple case. The simple case is uh, Lantech, Lantech stretch wrappers. It's uh, the example of uh, uh, maybe see this, uh, mm, you have seen these uh, machines in the airport, then you wrap your baggage inside the stretch. Uh, so such uh, machines were produced by Atlantic stretch wrappers. And um, the company was started in 1972 as the lean manufacturer. Um, and they, as the Atlantic uh, was growing, they hired a new operation manager. The operation manager um, uh, departmentized uh, the company, and afterwards, uh, Alantec became um, the Batch and Q company. The Batch and Q it means that uh, mm, they um, they do this. Uh, they uh, uh, they they did their production is in the large uh, batches, and uh, uh, they assemble their products. Using a queue, using the conveyor, uh, using the um, I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, uh, this uh, loud band. Maybe, maybe somebody knows. I <laughs> know only in German. One moment. Loud band. Loud band. We had. Maybe in Russian. Conveyor. 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 You understand conveyor? Pipeline. 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 Is okay. it no? Uh, Maybe construction line. Construction line. Conveyor for English is conveyor. Conveyor. Okay. So in the construction lines, then uh, each part uh, is assembled assembled on the law on the running line, and uh, afterwards you become you get a product, a good, or and the, or it go or it uh, or an assembly which comes to the next uh, running line. There they make another operations manual. So the first thing was like this, and um, oh, the structure is rather complex. You see it in the picture one. Uh, and afterwards, uh, they uh, 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 they introduces uh, the business was good and small until uh, uh, there are they appeared the small uh, the competitors in 1989 which provided pretty the same machines but in the lower price so um, they implemented the Q cell so they have uh, um, they have the same thing like they had in batch but they uh, made um, the smaller uh, the smaller conveyors the smaller batches and uh, since that they have uh, the finished goods they have the finished goods uh, shipped faster and uh, uh, Afterwards, uh, they get uh, their film up and running again, so they overcome this crisis. 
Um, okay, can you switch to the next slide, please? Uh, so, the wire mount, the second thing, wire mount, it's, uh, they provide a production or uh, production line of wire managed system. I wondered what is the line managed systems was, but you can see that they are production in every office building. For example, the wire managed system is this thing. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so the thing which uh, uh, protects uh, the cables and all this wiring from the out, out world, so to say. Um, uh, so, uh, they, in 1970, uh, they have hired the production professional managed because uh, they have no growth, uh, um, and they, because they have no growth. And uh, the second thing is that they introduced the total qual uh, quality manager. Um, that uh, was the key feature of this time. But, uh, afterwards, they implemented just in time um, the things, uh, just in time strategy in the wrong way. So uh, they uh, they had no flow and no pull um, because the because they didn't have any knowledge how to do it. Uh, they reduced the management. Uh, afterwards, they reduced the management offering uh, them early retirement, so they cut off uh, this, uh, uh, un mm, this management who, doesn't, who didn't provide the value. Uh, they trained the employees, the lean principles, managers uh, convert every process into pool and continuous flow. They have a lot of 100 running Kaizens. The Kaizens, uh, it's uh, all, it, uh, it, it is the process of uh, 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 of uh, um, um, it is the process of uh, the repeated uh, um, improvement of some processes. So people collect, brainstorm, uh, gain some ideas, implement them. So then, uh, then uh, the process uh, starts to run a little different way. They collect again, improve, improve, and afterwards they have, they introduced. Uh, uh, the, new pro uh, the process changes and becomes more efficient. It's like retro. Uh, maybe yes. In our case, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have babysitting to do. Although I find this very interesting, and I would love to see the next book also. So, have a nice weekend, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Yeah. So, can you switch to the next? And no jobs were lost. Do this implementation, and you can switch to the next slide. Um, uh, so, uh, so there is a test of Pratt and Whitney. Uh, Pratt and Whitney is the big, biggest uh, producer of uh, uh, of the engines for the uh, commercial and uh, uh, military uh, planes in USA. Uh, so. Uh, what they made, they had a lot of, uh, they have, uh, they had arrivals, the competitors uh, in the face of uh, General Electrics and Rolls Royce, uh, their four-year product development cycle and the 18-month clean time. Uh, they were not familiar with clean principles until 1992, and they, the cr win, and they get in the crisis with very little knowledge of lean manufacturing. So they invited uh, Bob Deramor who created this uh, link principles from them because he mastered them in Harley Davidson. Uh, so um, as the process, as the example for this link transformation, they had a big uh, uh, brom machine. So this is the big machinery which uh, produced uh, some uh, uh, things for, I didn't get into the details, but for overall, it's a big machinery. They, uh, more than 3,200 3, people work on this one machine and uh, they produce the frame for the uh, engine, for, for the aircraft engine. So uh, they changed this uh, uh, frame things, uh, with, they introduced the, uh, the link system instead of this uh, and uh, they used this uh, conveyor or something like that instead of uh, this big, uh, big uh, clumsy uh, machine. And uh, they win it 
they introduced the, mass, uh, the, uh, the better speed of production and uh, they also asked uh, uh, Yuruzu Aitita uh, for quality for philosophy. Uh, he was from Toyota and he, uh, he, uh, he helped them and uh, nearly 100% of engines um, are made, uh, made completely through the production with no backflow. Backflow it means that the correction of the mistakes and if something was manufactured bad you should uh, go rework this part or this uh, assembly or something like that and afterwards it should be quality managed again. So can you please like, change the slide? So the same thing about the Porsche. The Porsche was uh, um, improved. Uh, was was it was at first, but uh, uh, a big, uh, a small company with large hierarchical structure. So it's typical typical German uh, uh, enterprise, uh, which had the Meisters, Gruppen Meisters, Obergruppen Meisters, and so on. Um, and um, uh, and they have intense focus on the product and craftsman uh, craftsmanship. Um, that um, that their product are like a masterpiece. They make the small amounts, small doses, but no mass production at all. So they invited Chikiro Nakao to implement me uh, thinking. So they turned their warehouse to the. Uh, Factory. So the the first thing was to reduce the shelves, uh, uh, make it from 2.5 meters to 1.3, so everyone can um, see everyone while assembling goods, assembling some structures, and so on. Uh, they reduced the number of suppliers uh, because uh, uh, managing a large a large part of suppliers is not capable, and they chose the main project. So they stick to niche because they cannot produce a lot of uh, product at one time. Uh, they they produce they started to produce only one uh, thing, uh, mid-priced uh, car, uh, auto to seat automobile type Boxster, for example, as you need it is a Porsche Carrera or 911. So and uh, on the right side you see how the management uh, staff re reduced from 1992 to, to from July to August, like something like Victor Freitin. <laughs> uh, and um, the other thing is the is how the lean transformation um, affected in within uh, two years um, uh, two years iteration how they uh, change the inventories, the effort, the sales, and so on. So, and so they, they had not, not a good profits at 1993, but afterwards uh, the, sales, uh, the sales begin to increase. So can you switch to the next slide, please? So the, uh, these are very lucky guys. They had radiators and boilers. So they called, uh, they called Toyota and say Tetsu Yamamoto to come and to guide them for lean, lean transformation. So he came and the things getting better. They transformed many activities and Kaizen every activity is minimum uh, 10 times. So that's all. Can you switch to the next slide? Uh, and uh, what should we do to make this uh, uh, actual uh, this transformation? Um, the first thing is that we need to reorganize our product family. So, if you're producing uh, something, uh, we should think over if we are capable to produce it, or we should focus on one product. We should create lean functions so we can uh, think over and over uh, the best steps to uh, to produce this project and divide it in the steps. So we, d we devised the policy uh, for access people, uh, we switched to, for, to the rule plan, how, to, how they should interact, how they, they de should deal with the commons the, between departments and so, so on. We devised the growth strategy, so we uh, should think over how we, um, uh, we, switch, how we grow our product line or how we uh, we are growing horizontally or vertically, for example, if we, if we are providing the new products or we'll stick uh, and expand uh, the lineup of uh, current products and so on. 
uh, then uh, um, then the uh, um, oh sorry Can I start? Uh, can I start this slide from the beginning? Sorry, I was a uh, little bit. Uh, I changed to another slide. So the first thing, uh, thing which uh, we change engine, we find someone who is uh, who is uh, acquainted uh, with the lean knowledge, and with lean principles, have energy and courage to uh, get the things implemented. So we get the, no the lean knowledge. We have a lot of uh, safe trainers in our company. So how it was uh, transformed two or three years ago. Uh, afterwards, they developed, uh, they, de they delivered uh, the knowledge within our uh, crew, within, within our team of teams, and so on. Uh, should uh, map the value streams to look uh, to eliminate muda and then we should uh, uh, begin uh, to begin uh, to um, uh, to get our processes better and better using kai uh, kai for uh, radical for and for looking for radical improvements and the kaizen and re kaizen to improve the steps and so on uh, so we should expand our scope to move quickly from one activity to the next, uh, to not to stop on one thing because we, because there can be showstoppers and the showstoppers should be solved by particular by separate commons uh, and uh, uh, very creative people. I think. Um, can you switch to the next slide? Sorry, what yes. is Kai Kaiku? Uh, kai Kaiku. Uh, kai Kaiku is. Uh, um, is the thing is the approach if you look for radical improvements uh, so you search for um, for the development lines so you ha you search for the out uh, you search how you have a problem for example and you search particular ways how to solve it uh, so you don't know the steps uh, but you see the uh, see uh, see you have an approach how to do it Okay. It can be it can be dot voting if you do it. Uh, yeah, if, if you vote, for example, for different let's say topics, and if have uh, all all in your team has like three dots, and uh, someone will put one dot to one point and two dots to what is more important, and this is how you try to find out the most uh, say, radical or the, the thing that will bring more value to what you want to change. So. It's okay. one of the approaches, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry, Sasha, I think I put it at the <laughs> change agent in the, in the room, okay? Uh, uh, just Kai, Kai Kaiku is... Uh, we have Kaizen. Kaizen is improvement, small yes. improvement at each step. Kai Kaiku is radical improvement. For example, mm -hmm. from previous example, we had... I don't remember company, we had... Uh, I don't know, big machinery, but could, could not be improved. It's just one piece of machinery and it provides and stock as it is. Mm -hmm. But when we switch from this big machinery to long, uh, I don't know, okay. one-way belt, where we could improve this step, this step, this step, this step. Mm -hmm. So we first do radical change and then improve in one particular so, uh, so the main thing uh, the, also the example in uh, our company and in many other companies here we have monolith system uh, old monolith mm -hmm. system and they we divide them to make microservice the, the, uh, the we have determined uh, companies to uh, determined to cruise to the uh, each microservice and each microservice can be developed tested and uh, uh, and tested and uh, deployed, uh, improved uh, simultaneously with another um, with uh, the uh, flexible delivery model. And one more small addition: why, why all of these guys uh, suddenly started learning Japanese and they invite uh, Toyota managers into the company? Because in that moment of time, it was really obvious that. Toyota system, I mean, Toyota provides best quality, so we have less amount of uh, mistakes per, uh, per one car, less amount of uh, waste per one car, so we 
that really well optimized for how to create craft and create car. And everyone, I mean, almost everyone in the world, every, I don't know, guy who provides, I don't know, new car, new engine, new anything. We just look at this system and see, okay, maybe we have, I don't know, get some good examples, good practice from Toyota into our system. And that's why how we transport. So if a guy worked in Toyota, he knows how, how you should yeah. improve yes. your system. Um, okay, uh, do we have, I see that it's now 17.44. Do we have, to, uh, we have 15 minutes left in our book club? Uh, or no, or we have, well, I have uh, some minutes more to finish you want to make some action? Yes, I think that um, if we have time, uh, do we have time right now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, well, can you switch to the last slide? Because there are two slides more, but it's not very uh, interesting. Also, I have faced, uh, um, personally, I have faced one problem. I had a product which is working 24-7, used Technology X, which was originated a long time ago. Um, it, and it used, for example, by 200 customers. Uh, what will be ideas how to transfer this project to the new environment to make it modern in the modern um, cloud world? So, what, what you will provide, what an ideas you can provide for such a uh, thing and how to make it lean and agile. Uh, use Kaizen, remove some parts from legacy and build uh, the new microservices. And so, yeah, you have an old code uh, which you don't have an expertise how it is running. What is the uh, first step? Write new code. <laughs> <laughs> yes, write a new code. And how you will do it? Uh, call new experts who are familiar with new technologies to yes. make it in a better way. But uh, they see this old code and they say, I don't understand what is written there. They so don't need to read old code because they need to read documentation where is read, how it should work. Yes, uh, Alec? Maybe just a day. You don't have to know all details <laughs> oh. what, what is inside old code. You should know what is in, in the first step and the start and what it is in end. And if you create system, new system, you just some try somehow try to match beginning and the end, and uh, just uh, create new system. What could craft from uh, I don't know data or whatever you have from the beginning, and uh, just make it in the end. So you don't have to know all technical details what happened in the old system. You just uh, provide it and then and then maybe probably you will start on I don't know one two three customers. Is it working? Could you replace it? Because for customers it doesn't, it doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter. They don't know how you did it. I mean, did you, I don't know, craft coffee by yourself or by coffee machine or by everything? They just taste coffee and they ever like it or not. They doesn't care, okay? And uh, maybe first you create one chain, try to implement it, try it on several customers with less things. And if you just try it on several customers, you just provide it to uh, all 200 of customers. Yeah, but you don't do it all at once, right? You create an MVP first, like something small, small thing, something yes. that makes a difference, and then continue yeah. if this is if this is working and customer is satisfied, then you yes. keep replacing and changing. More and you could, it, could improve on that small amount of customers, and when you, I mean, from some point of time, uh, you don't have to do, I don't know, ideal improvements. Uh, your new system will be given roughly MVP system will be already better than old uh, one. So you don't have to... Uh, not, that, not everything new is better than... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you, you could also fail... We, we had budget <laughs> stability in the, such kind of uh, uh, project. It was PFS, but from Schroeder. It was migrated from mainframe to x86 platform and uh, there were a lot of stability issues. <coughs> Just because mainframe is more stable. And just, it, it's, and it's older than me, but it's more stable. And, and, and anyway, if, if something used for 30 years, 
for four yes. years, it, it will be kind of stable because all I don't know major bugs was happening yeah, twenty yeah, yeah. years ago. Yes, twenty years ago. But uh, mm -hmm. when we move to the new technologies, maybe when we move to cloud application, uh, these technologies are no longer supported, and uh, <laughs> we have uh, to move somehow. We have to switch to the new without without less pain and without a lot of efforts. But it, not always. I um, I completely agree. First, uh, I had pretty the same uh, um, task for my last several months, and uh, we started from the technical analysis. So we started to analyze if it technically able to move one system to another more system. If they look, uh, if they, if they, it has an opportunity, then we asked for some documentation how the customers use it. For example, they say uh, that we used it which this way, this way, this way, and this way. And afterwards, I use I take this uh, the first user story, the second user story, the third user story, how they use it, and uh, uh, try to uh, mm -hmm. make the, an old system running in the new way, on the new hardware, on the new language, and so on. But using I know, but using all the like technology for easy for the ease of transformation. Mm -hmm. So thank you for presenting. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, it was great thank you. for discussion. That would be great if this book would be about uh, IT.